Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company. I am here with my good friend Lee Mitchell with Hydro Finders and I have him out here today because we are looking at rehabbing a well for the tea museum and uh, he's an expert in all things water. So without further ado, I'm going to flip the camera around and interview this guy and he'll tell you what Hydro Finders does and uh, his background a little bit there and uh, hopefully you guys can benefit from his years and years of expertise. So, uh, Lee, how long have we known each other? <laughs> uh, since about 2003, I think, when yeah. we joined the Brookwood Church. That's where we got to know each other. Yeah, and uh, Lee was actually the, uh, our Hydro Missions, you were actually the chairman of our board. If I recall, I've been on the board. I don't know if I was chairman, but I was on the board. I think we made you chairman, and okay. I, I think you were actually the first associate we sent overseas on a mission, and that was to Sudan, if I recall. That's right. And I think we almost killed you over there. <laughs> I don't know about that. It was a, it was a good experience. It was tough. It was hard. We got dehydrated, <laughs> but the people appreciated our being there. Yep. So tell me a little bit about your background in water. Okay. and then uh, what you're doing now. Well, I'm a hydrogeologist. I used to work for the state of South Carolina for the Department of Natural Resources in Greenville first, and then they moved me to Clemson, uh, DNR in the hydrology section, and my expertise is mainly in groundwater, mainly wells. Mm -hmm. And I used to help people locate the best sites to drill in the Piedmont and the Blue Ridge. And how do you do that? You have some specialized equipment, but also you just have expertise for well, sure. Well, I don't have equipment now. When I was with the state, we had some geophysical equipment, which worked pretty good, but the conditions have to be right. You have to be in a flat area. The ground can't be wet. It takes a long time to set up. So I learned mainly just looking at the top topographic maps, looking at the uh, geology of the area, fractures, faults, lineaments, the stream direction, stream drainage, all these factors come together to tell you what's going on in the subsurface. Mm -hmm. um, just two rules of thumb, don't drill on a hilltop if you can help it. Do drill in a low area. That's very general, but mm -hmm. that's one of the things. And still look for where the, where the stream drainage indicates the likelihood of a fracture 200, 300, 400 feet down below. So that's where you're going to hit your groundwater. You can't get water out of solid rock. Mm -hmm. And up here in the Piedmont, we have metamorphic rock and igneous rock, mostly metamorphic, hard, solid rock. But it has a lot of fractures, a lot of faults, mm -hmm. a lot of cracks. Okay. And that's what we're looking for. And that's where you're going to get your water. Great. So if uh, somebody uh, wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? Uh, they could email me at hydrofinders at charter.net. Okay, and I'll put a link to that as well. Okay. Um, and then as far as uh, what what exactly do you do for uh, clients when you come out, like for, for a job like this, for well, example? First of all, I'll, what I call a T1, I'll make two maps, a topographic map and an aerial photo with the sights on it. And that's my T1. And I do that first. And then if they also want me to come out, that's an extra thing. That's what mm -hmm. I call a tier two. I come out to the field and walk around the site and do some fine tuning, uh, as I call it. Mm -hmm. But the first part is oftentimes all that's needed. Right. I'll send a map with the uh, latitude and longitude coordinates they can find with the GPS. Generally, five or six well sites, and they're numbered in order of preference. Okay. Number one being best, number two, second best, and so forth. Gotcha. But I'm glad to come out, you know. And or the second step if necessary, if they want me to come out. And I understand that you've, so you, when you were working for the state of South Carolina, you weren't allowed to really give recommendations, but now that you are a freelancer, you have a pretty good idea of who's good and all that in the area as far as well drillers or people like in my case to rehab wells and yes. things like that, right? Yeah, and, I'm not as reluctant to give out names. Of course, um, no, I never did just give out one name of a well driller. I usually, even now, still just give out four or five names mm -hmm. together 
And I don't include any of the bad ones in there. <laughs> there you go. Put it that way. There you go. Well, the ones I do tell you, they're all good. The yeah. four or five that I do tell you about. Very cool. Well, is there anything else you'd like to tell uh, your adoring YouTube fans? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I do this. Uh, I'm thankful to the Lord. He had a beautiful creation, and he allows us to look at his creation and to try to figure out that the verse, I wish I could remember it now, it's the glory of the Lord to hide things. But it's one of the jobs of men to find things. <laughs> Very cool. And, Very cool. And like I said, uh, Lee and I have uh, served together uh, in the mission field for many, many years. He's a good friend, uh, great guy. So if you need any water services, check out Hydro Finders. Um, and I'll put a link to, um, to that email address in the blah 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 So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned to see what else is brewing here at Table Rock Tea Company.